Kia ora and welcome to the Southland Hospital radiology videos. These videos have been created to help people know what to expect for their next visit to the radiology department. If you're an outpatient, you will receive your appointment by letter. Please read this carefully as you may need to confirm your appointment. If you're unable to make your appointment, please ring the contact number on your letter and let us know. There is free parking available at Southland Hospital, although it can get very busy at times. Please allow yourself plenty of time to find a car park. If the main car parks are full, there is an unsealed car park behind the main building, but allow a few extra minutes to walk from there. For your outpatient appointment, you will find us on the ground floor of the hospital. From the main entrance, we're the first apartment on the right after the gift shop. When you arrive, please check in at our reception. Remember to bring your appointment letter with you to show our reception staff. They will tell you where to wait and give you a gown if you need to get changed. Southland Hospital offers patients attending appointments free Wi-Fi, which can be accessed by joining the network under your phone settings. Bathroom facilities are available within the department. Please ask a staff member for location. In the event of an emergency, follow instructions from radiology staff. This video has been made to ensure that you have a successful myocardial perfusion heart test. Nuclear medicine is a branch of radiology which uses small amounts of radioactivity to obtain images of body organs, in your case the heart. A nuclear medicine technologist will explain this procedure to you and go through a brief heart health questionnaire. At this stage you will have an IV cannula, a thin tube inserted by needle into a vein. This will allow staff a way to administer radioactive injections and other drugs throughout the test. If necessary, emergency medication can also be put through this device. The radioactive injections used are considered very safe and side effects are extremely rare. Staff are highly trained, safety conscious and have much experience dealing with this type of radiation. They will recommend precautions to follow once you leave the hospital. If you're a woman who is pregnant or breastfeeding, please contact us promptly as we will need to modify or reschedule this test. Likewise, if you have had an angiogram performed on your heart at Dunedin in the last three months, we will also need to speak with you before your appointment, so please call us first. In most situations, we perform this heart test on two separate days, and you will be required to attend both appointment days to complete the examination. The following instructions are very important. Failure to follow these correctly often leads to your test being postponed. Please pay attention. You must stop drinking caffeinated beverages such as tea, coffee, energy drinks, cola, hot chocolates and any other soft drinks that contain caffeine for 24 hours before your first scheduled appointment. People often ask us if decaffeinated drinks are okay. Unfortunately, they still contain small amounts of caffeine, so must not be consumed. We recommend you stick with water, orange juice or plain lemonade. Certain food products such as chocolate bars or chocolate covered biscuits also contain caffeine, so please avoid these also. Four hours before your test you must stop eating. You may continue to drink, however if you have diabetes you should continue to eat as normal. Please bring us a list of all your medication and a dosage for each drug. It is important we know what medication you are taking while you are in our care. Certain medications may interfere with our ability to conduct a successful heart test on you. We ask that you stop taking some medications for a specific time. Please understand that your referring doctor is aware that you must stop this medication for your heart test. If you are taking a beta blocker pill, this must be stopped 48 hours before your test. Here are some common names of beta blockers. Metoprolol, Labetalol, Bisoprolol, Atenolol or Betalock. Other names of beta blockers do exist and often are easily identified because the last three letters spell L-O-L. If you're unsure about your medication, then simply contact your GP or discuss with your local pharmacist. Let's move on to the calcium channel blocker medications. These must be stopped for 24 hours before you visit us. These drugs are commonly called diltiazem, philodipine, verapamil or amlodipine. Once again, other names are available, so if you're unsure, please check first. 
Next we have the nitrate tablets. Stop this group for 24 hours also. Such varieties include isozorbide mononitrate, Injure, Imtrate or Juride. Others may exist, so please check if unsure. Lastly, if you are taking medication that we haven't mentioned, then please continue taking these drugs as usual. They will not interfere with your heart test. No unusual physical effort should be performed in the 12 hours before the stress scan. Let's recap the test preparation. No caffeine for 24 hours. Stop eating 4 hours prior to test unless you have diabetes. Bring medication list. Stop following medication. Beta blockers, 48 hours. Calcium channel blockers, 24 hours. Nitrates, 24 hours. Don't over-exercise for 12 hours before the stress scan. We realise this is a lot of information to absorb, but don't worry, these instructions are clearly marked in your appointment letter. Maybe ask a friend or family member to help you. At one appointment, we will look at your heart when you are relaxed and resting. This is called a rest scan. To help us get good images, we will consider giving you GTN spray, which is delivered under your tongue. This medication is known to open your heart's arteries or blood vessels. After a short wait, the technologist will place a small radioactive injection through the cannula placed in your arm. This injection is painless and shows us how well blood flows through your heart muscle. It also allows us to take images of your heart. After the injection, we must wait a further 30 minutes before we take you into the scanning room. We ask that you sit in our waiting room during this idle time as we want you relaxed. For entertainment, we have a supply of magazines available, or you might consider bringing your book from home. When it is time to take pictures of your heart, staff will ask females to change into a gown. Males are also welcome to change into a gown, or they may prefer to wear their own singlet for the scan. The technologist will take you into the scan room for a SPECT CT scan of your heart. Scan pictures take 15 minutes. Once you are comfortable on the scanning bed, it is necessary to place your arms above your head out of the way. You will be moved under the camera, your head is not covered, just your chest. The camera will then silently and slowly rotate around you. Near the end of the image, the technologist will place you into the circle of the CT scanner for a short time. The scanner makes a beeping and whirling noise at the stage. It is important that you remain still for the duration of the entire scan. We will send you home with the IV cannula still attached to your arm. The technologist will ensure that it is well secured and unlikely to come loose before your next appointment. You may shower with the IV cannula in, but we do suggest you keep this area dry by either placing food wrap or a plastic bag over the cover as a precaution. For the stress scan, you are required to attend the diagnostic testing department upstairs. Our radiology nurse will meet you in the diagnostic testing department, as well as staff specialised in performing the diagnostic test. How do we stress your heart? There are two possible options. Option one is on the treadmill. ECG leads are attached to your chest and a blood pressure cuff placed on your arm. The treadmill will start slowly on a slight incline and then every three minutes it gets steeper and faster. Our aim is to get you to maximum exercise. Your heart rate, ECG and blood pressure will be monitored. When your heart is properly stressed, the radioactive tracer injection is given by a radiology nurse and you are escorted back to nuclear medicine for scan pictures. In most situations, you are fine to drive home after this option. Many people are unable to do the treadmill due to medical or physical limitations. Option two uses medication to stress your heart. This medication causes your heart to respond like you're performing physical exercise. A doctor, radiology nurse and cardiac physiologist closely observe your responses to the drugs and safely monitor your progress, checking your heart rate, ECG and blood pressure at all times. Once comfortable, you're escorted downstairs for the stress scan. You may feel tired after this option, so we do recommend you bring a support person in case you don't feel able to drive home. This is particularly important if you're driving long distances. It is best not to bring children or pregnant women. There are some risks and possibly mild discomfort throughout the test. Although most tests are uneventful, there are no side effects from the radioactive injection. However, due to the nature of the test, abnormal responses of your heart can occur. These include blood pressure changes, fainting, irregular heart rates, and in extremely rare circumstances, 
heart attack, stroke or death. The risks are minimised through supervision by trained personnel with emergency equipment available to deal with any adverse situations. Your doctor is aware of these risks and have taken them into consideration before referring you for this test. There are precautions we recommend you follow after the radioactive injections. All radioactive patients should try and avoid close, continuous contact with others by keeping a good distance of one metre or more. It is best that you don't return to work on the day of your scan. However, if you work by yourself, then there is no restriction. It is okay for you to be around your pets. Results for this test will be made available through the doctor who requested the scan. No results are given to you on the dates of your scan. The staff of the Nuclear Medicine Department want your visit to be as pleasant as possible. We appreciate that it is a long test with lots to remember. So if you have any further questions, you can ring the department on the contact number given in your appointment letter. We do ask that you confirm your appointment by ringing us you can leave a message on our answer phone. If you are unable to keep the appointment, please inform us as soon as possible so that we can accommodate somebody else waiting for this test. Thank you for listening. We look forward to seeing you soon. Hairi rā.